10 years ago, it was our area that was dealing with its own major storm that caused widespread destruction after the surprise October storm knocked down a huge number of trees and left 400,000 people without power for days. Well, as it turns out, lessons learned then may now help in the recovery effort from Hurricane Matthew. Seven Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley has that story. Could be probably 40 to 50 miles an hour winds right now. This morning, we talked with former Lafayette High School teacher Steve DeGarmo. The 73-year-old now lives in Palm Coast, Florida with his wife, and Hurricane Matthew was closing in. We have no power. The power went off about Oh, 8.45 a.m. this morning. People in surrounding neighborhoods had evacuated, but DeGarmo felt he was high enough to be protected from a storm surge and experienced enough to handle it. After living in Buffalo for 28 years and going through all those storms, uh... You know, you, you kind of get used to uh, Mother Nature. Moments later, Hurricane Matthew knocked out the connection. Ten years ago, when he was still in Buffalo, DeGarmo and hundreds of thousands of residents were dealing with our own massive storm disaster after a freak early October snowstorm destroyed large areas of trees and knocked out power to nearly 400,000 people. With 17 states and two Canadian provinces set, sent in crews. National Grid still has this panoramic view hanging in its offices showing the Eastern Hills Mall parking lot with the many crews that came here to help. The challenge of trying to get that many crews through a facility like this would have been a nightmare. But it turns out that lessons learned then would go on to become the industry standard nationwide when it came to marshalling and coordinating utility crews for massive storm damage. Uh, we shuttle bus them from the hotels, fed them there, and that way their trucks were, were fueled, restocked with equipment. They were ready to go. National Grid is now waiting to see if they will deploy some crews to the south. Southern utilities need additional help. We are in a position to be able to send crews down. And late this uh, afternoon, kind of a we finally got back in contact uh, with I Steve still do my... who said he's still hanging on as Hurricane Matthew blows by. After the October surprise storm, the cost of repairing Western New York's electrical system was $96 million. And with Hurricane Matthew still roaring up the coast, it is anybody's guess just how expensive those repairs could be. In Buffalo, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Ed. Our coverage of Hurricane Matthew continues right now on the WKBW app. We'll also bring you reports from the Atlantic coast throughout the next 90 minutes and again on World News.